Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to be talking about your character's inner monologue. So the reason that this is going to be important is because the inner monologue can help us in building a more in-depth and nuanced character. So the monologue, think about it this way in simplest terms, is that it will help you build a character that can be more in-depth and more nuanced um, and seem a little bit more real if you're struggling with that aspect in your acting. So here's the way to think about the inner monologue. The best way to think about it is this. What does your character think about when they're not speaking? What goes on through their heads? What is their inner monologue, the dialogue that runs through their heads? Here's the way that I want you guys to do it. When you guys get a character, and this can be for a character if you just get an audition tomorrow and you have to figure out this character. Maybe you book the part. Maybe it's for a movie, TV show, or play. It doesn't matter. You have this character, and now you're trying to find out what is your character's inner monologue. Think about it this way. If your character was to go and I put them into this big ballroom party, there's a bunch of people in this room. What does your character think about? Does your character think about, oh my gosh, there's a lot of people in here. I wonder what they're going to think of me. Or how do I impress these people? Or do they think, wow, there's a lot of interesting people in here. How can I go and meet them all? I want to know more about them. Or do they think about, hey, I wonder what food they're going to have here. I'm really hungry all the time. Or maybe they think about, when can I leave this party? I don't want to be here at all. These people are boring. Or do they go to this party? Do they interact with people? But do they think inside their heads of past events going on? Or do they think about what do they have to do at home? What do they have to do outside of this room? What is your character's usual consistent inner monologue? If you have a character and their inner monologue is how they want to rule the world, they want world domination, they want to rule over everybody, or their inner monologue is, hey, I want to have world peace. How can I make the world a better place? Two different inner monologues, two different ways that you will approach that character. If your character wants world domination, the way that you will act will probably be different because this character wants world domination compared to if you have a character who wants world peace. Now, every actor will also have different perspectives on a character when they're going through and reviewing the facts. So let's say, for example, you have a character and they only got 30 days to live. Well, some people will pursue this character in a way that they think, okay, this character has 30 days to live. This character's inner monologue is they're wondering how they can make the most out of those 30 days. How can those 30 days be the best days of their life? Other people, though, pursuing the same character may think, okay, this character has 30 days to live. They're going to be really depressed. They only got 30 days. They want to have more days but they only have 30, now they're gonna be really depressed and that's their mindset. So you have to think, what is your character's inner monologue? And inner monologues can change. Maybe for one half of the movie, your character has one inner monologue and maybe they have a different inner monologue that changes the second way through, but usually they'll have one overarching monologue that can encapsulate the whole thing to help you building that in-depth character. Again, when you have that inner monologue, it helps you build depth and nuance into those characters. Now, the question you guys are probably asking yourselves is, okay that's great now how do I find the characters in our monologue here's how you do it the way that you do it is you find the facts what are the facts that you have now if you're just auditioning for this project and they give you maybe two or three scenes that you're working with those are the facts that you have compared to if you book the project and you have the whole script you have a lot more facts you have to though, work with the facts that you actually have some of you will have a lot of facts, some of you will have little facts. It depends on the project, it depends if you have the whole script, if you just have the scenes. All that depends, but you have to work with the facts that you have. What you then do is you list out all the facts. You list out, okay, what is this character's education status, if you know it? Where does this character work? Why do they work there? Is this where they want to work? Is this where that they're is this where they're forced to work? Does your character have a relationship with anybody? Do they want to have a relationship with anybody? What are the facts that you have about the character? Not necessarily what is your imagination at this point. Just list the facts. After you list the facts, look over those facts and then go to your imagination. Then you're starting to think about okay, these are the facts for this character. What is this character's inner monologue? What are they usually thinking about on a, cons on a consistent basis? But you only let your imagination work after you've listed the facts. Once you have listed the facts, then you can start using your imagination. Then you can start thinking about, okay, what does this character think about? Maybe there's little plot holes that you don't know the answer to right now because you don't have all the information within the scene, but you still want to build an in-depth character. Then you can use your imagination and maybe you'll fill some of these holes up 
in the best logical way that you can. You don't just fill it up with anything, you fill it up with things that work in accordance to the story of the scene that you have, but also in working with what do you know? What are the facts that you have? Again, if you're working and you have the whole play or you have the whole script, well then you have all the facts that you will probably need. If you need more facts, then you can start to talk with the director. Maybe you guys have different points of views and ideas, but ideally you're trying to get as many facts as you can. Then you use your imagination so you can find your character's inner monologue. So I hope this video helps you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to be up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you guys. Also, I'll be leaving the 10 hour acting masterclass down in the description below and also in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. It takes about two minutes or so to sign up as well as the 10 acting resume templates. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Bye guys.